Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming uh, to this press conference. And it is important that we convene this conference to dialogue about the deterioration of police community relations in the city. Rochester, historically, has had a negative, negative problem with black police relationships. Decade after decade, since 1964, nothing has changed. Police chiefs come and go, and relations remain mired in quicksand. Political administrations come and go, and nothing substantive has changed. First, I want to say that Mr. Johnson, who allegedly our shot police officer at Pearson, which we regret terribly. Yeah. But the question is, someone from the police department had referred to Mr. Johnson as an animal. And he's not an animal, he's a man. Yes. But my question is, is this the prevailing attitude in terms of how black folk are seen by them as animals? And since that attitude is there, since that attitude is there, does that rationalize the racial profiling that is continuing to happen in our community? Now, we viewed the video with dismay as we saw the beating Mr. Long received by a representative of the Rochester Police Department. From what I understand, and from what the information I have gathered, that someone else had a broom handle which was used in the fracas, but it was not used by Mr. Long. They said that Mr. Long allegedly possessed a controlled substance that was smoking marijuana, but certainly that did not justify the excessive force used by the police. Yes, sir. Yes. In this circumstance. Yes. From what we saw, he was covering up himself while the officer continually attacked him. Now, UCLM certainly does not make any excuses for the use of drugs. It is against our principles, and we are attempting to raise the awareness of the community in cleaning up our city from drugs and violence. However, members of the RPD must learn how to treat all individuals, That's right. That's right. all persons, That's right. with respect, decency, and dignity. That's right. That's right. Furthermore, we desire to know all the facts involved. Yes. What preceded and precipitated this incident? Why did the officer come to the house? Who called the police department and why? <laughs> what brought on the physical mistreatment? Those are questions that need to be answered. Secondly, since Rochester has had a long history of recalcitrance in police reform, we again call for an independent civilian review board mm -hmm. with subpoena power and investigative authority. Mm -hmm. 
Now, so far, city council mm -hmm. has been slack mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. implementing mm -hmm. that yes. particular agency legislation to reform civilian review. As it stands, it is a paper tiger, mm -hmm. it has no teeth, Mm. And it cannot do anything but gum you to death. Yes. <laughs> Make it plain, sir. Make it plain. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Yes, sir. Now, Adam McFadden, who's the chairman of the Public Safety Committee, mm -hmm. we've been talking with him about such. But we need to try and get all the other city council members on board. Yes. Yes. To encourage them to implement this process as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Yes. In addition, we demand that the city council and the mayor invest in the purchase of personal body cameras for police officers. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 This is important because personal body cameras will hold the police accountable. Yes. 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 And present pertinent viewing data mm -hmm. on contact and interactions between the police and community members. Yes. yes. Now they will talk about the fact that they don't have enough money in the budget. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can get the money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They can write a grant proposal and get it from the federal government. Yes, yes. And it does not necessarily mean that you have to have 750 plus cameras. Because since they're on shift, yes. right? Yes, sir. You can get 350 to 400 cameras. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it needs to be done. Yes, sir. And storing the data on the service. You can get money for that too from the federal government. That's yes. right. Yes. Things are just going too far in our city. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, we also demand an end to stop and frisk. Amen. Yes, sir. Which, in essence, is racial profiling. Yes, stop and frisk only incites antagonism. Yes, it does. And worsens relationship between the police and the community, increasing mistrust and suspicion. Yes, sir. Make a plan, sir. On the same night that the incident happened with Mr. Long, another young man was also racial profiled, had no weapon on him, mm -hmm. was thrown up against the wall, was arrested, mm -hmm. These types of actions, to me, make no sense. No. No. Not all black men are criminals. And we refuse to be treated as such. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. We do not need another Ferguson. That's, That's right. right. That's right. But that is what's brewing mm -hmm. yes, sir. Mm -hmm. if tensions continue to increase. Yes, sir. Yes. And certainly we want to avoid that. Yes, sir. At any cost. Do we not? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir, we do. And now somebody is going to say, well, Reverend Stewart is irresponsible talking about Ferguson. No, I'm just a realist. Yes, sir. Right. Yes. Make it plain, sir. Because yes. there comes a time when people have had enough. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And when they have had enough, mm -hmm. then things can tip either one way or another. That's yes. Right. Yes. 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 So what we're saying is that city council and the mayor, they need to act now yes. mm -hmm. yes. Yes. to avoid mm -hmm. any explosion that can come about in the immediate future. Mm -hmm. Therefore, UCLM and the Coalition for Police Reform will push for a Community Safety Act legislation which needs to be implemented with all dire haste. Yes. 
And that includes civilian review. That includes stop and frisk data. That includes police cameras. Mm -hmm. And you all need to know that when the police officer approaches you, you have the right to refuse <laughs> consent to be searched. That's right. That's right. Yes. That's right. You need to know your rights. Yes. Please say that again. You have to know your rights. Yes, yes sir. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, now, never lay your hands on a police officer. That's right. That's don't right. do that. Do not do that because you're asking for trouble. Don't do that. Yes. And we don't want you to do that. Mm -hmm. That's right. Just tell that police officer, I would like to see a lawyer. Yes. Mm. Immediately. Immediately. Mm -hmm. That's important. Third, again, we call for an end to black on black genocide. Yes. Yes. And the conditions which produce it. <laughs> Poverty, joblessness, a lack of skills, low wages, mm -hmm. and the criminalization of the black community. Major plans, right? Yes. But it seems like the police are in a revenge mode. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. So, yes. 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 Fact. And in this revenge mode, they are determined to do all they can to criminalize black men. And see, it doesn't matter if you have a career or you don't have a career. That's yes. right, see? That's right. Yes. If you are a professional black man or you're not a professional black man. Yes. If you are a black man, mm. you can be arrested at any time. That's right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. On any suspicion that they might have. That's mm -hmm. a fact. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. And these things, they need to change. Yes. Fourth UCLM and the Coalition for Police Reform, consisting of, of Enough is Enough, the Genesee Valley Civil Liberties Union, Take Back the Land, and other organizations, <laughs> will convene a forum on community relations with the police on Thursday, October 2nd, at 6.30, right here at the Interfaith Gospel Tabernacle Church. We want change. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, we also want justice. Yes. 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 And we're tired of the way things are at. We have a recalcitrant city council we have a recalcitrant administration that really needs to act in all due haste. Now, if they're not going to get anything done, then we're going to call on the federal government to intervene. Definitely. Have to yes, yes sir. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. We're going to call on them to intervene. Mm -hmm. We're going to call on the Congress to intervene. But certainly somebody needs to intervene and to clean this mess up before yes. things get totally out of control. Yes. And then finally, UCLM is sponsoring worship service here at this church on this coming Friday, September 26th at 7 p.m. to pray for healing, to pray for justice, and an end to the rule of violence in our city. Yes. Finally, we will do all that we can to fight for reform in policing. Thank you very much. Reverend Stewart, the, um, can I get your reaction to uh, the mayor's uh, response to this last week? Uh, she had a press conference and said that she wants people to step forward. It seems that when she was on city council, she was a little bit more aggressive in her response to events like um, Brenda Hardaway and some others. Um, do you think that she's done enough or is she, is she in her new role, is she taking a, it backed up a little bit on her pushing of the police force to? I think that the, the mayor, being a politician, she has a good heart and she wants to do the right thing. Yes, she I really believe that, but I believe her hands are somewhat tied. <laughs> She's the mayor. I mean, if and, anybody's hand shouldn't be tired. tired she's right. The mayor. And and uh, but she needs to set forth a vision for the city. Set forth a vision for the city, 
where everybody is treated with equal fairness, mm -hmm. with justice, mm -hmm. and the question of race and gender is not involved yes. in the issue. So we're calling on her to step up to the plate and do so. Yes, we are. Say that, Dr. What, so what, what are you asking her to do then? We're asking for her to be just and to be fair and to implement the Civilian Review Board. Mm -hmm. She can do it. She can talk to her colleagues. She can buttonhole them mm -hmm. and say, we want this Civilian Review Board to be implemented as soon as possible. She can say that we want to curtail racial profiling in this city. Mm -hmm. She can say that we need to vote for, in our budget, personal body cameras for the police. Yes so that we can hold them accountable. See, because what the, the, the personal body cameras will do is the fact that it will resolve the whole issue of mistrust and suspicion. Mm -hmm. Yes, say that, yes. That many people in our community feel today. Mm -hmm. So she can do those things. She can push for those things. And John, mayor after mayor has refused to do, refused to do so in the past. Yes. You know that as well as I do. They have, and it seems like they have no interest in bucking the police lobby in the law enforcement yes, uh, lobby yes, in this city. Yes, yes. Right. yes. Seems right. like they, 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 they don't want to do that. That's right. You know? And they're going to have to do that. If they're going to represent all the people, then represent black folk and Hispanic folk and people of color. That's right. Represent everybody. Yes. Any other questions? The mayor has been uh, working with the police chief with the clergy on patrol program. Mm -hmm. um, this obviously came out before this current incident. Talk to me a little bit. Do you think that that is a, is a way that they are trying to better community police relations? What's your opinion? Well, they also have a clergy response team also. But that didn't help with the Brenda Hardaway situation. Mm -hmm. It didn't help with the Clem Long incident. It didn't help with the incident involving another young man and others in our city. Mm -hmm. So that the clergy on patrol, on paper, it's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with clergy going out in the community and talking and speaking with people. My question is, is but it's just like uh, Herod asking John the Baptist to be plan. a part of his administration. <laughs> And, and to yes. be on patrol in Judea. Yes, mm. yes sir. Mm. Yes. If you follow what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Clergy need to be independent of the police. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's, That's right. It. Absolutely. You, you cannot be in certain pockets and in the police lobby yes. and at the same time be prophetic. Yes. Say that. It's, hard. it's impossible mm -hmm. if you're friends with a person to speak against them okay. when yes. they do something wrong. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what we're saying is that the clergy on patrol, they need to be independent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay. So you don't agree right. with it? You, you wouldn't be going out with the mayor and the, the police officers and the community talking? Well, UCLM has been doing this ever since we've organized. Mm -hmm. We've been doing this mm -hmm. long before the mayor implemented community, uh, the uh, clergy on patrol. Mm -hmm. We've been doing this through our community healers mm -hmm. initiative. Mm -hmm. In fact, this church, Interfaith Gospel Tabernacle Church and Pastor War, we implemented community healers adopt the block. And this has been the first church in the city mm -hmm. that has adopted this block here. Yes. In the process of adopting this block, we've got this refuse dump cleaned out Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. Did we not? Yes, we did. We've canvassed the neighborhood several times <laughs> through community healers. Yes, we did. Remember, there were a couple of murders on this street. And also, there was an open-air drug house on this street. Yes, it was. Now, that open-air air drug house no longer exists. That's right. Yeah. And this was before the clergy on patrol was initiated. We do this out of our own resources. Mm -hmm. We have nobody backing us, mm -hmm. right. no money or anything else, right. but just the Holy Spirit. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. And, 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 and that's what we're doing here. And, and this church 
and past the war with UCLM has made a difference. And not only that, not only that, this coming Saturday, the 27th, beginning at 8.30 in the morning, UCLM has partnered with BOCES mm -hmm. called PEACE mm -hmm. and means Partners in Excellence, mm -hmm. Achieving Careers and Education. Yes, yes. That's what that means. Yes. And thus far, we've had over 20 people, over 21 years old, in that program <laughs> going through tape testing for their GED yes, on this coming Saturday morning right here at the church. Mm -hmm. BOCES will be coming here to do the instruction yes. twice a week. Yes. Mm. Give us a hand. And through education That's right. and moral improvement, mm -hmm. We can turn lives around yes. instead of having lives head to either the prison system yes. or the graveyard. Yes. yes. Too early. Too early. Mm -hmm. Too early. So that's what we're doing. Any other questions? Yeah, I just, I guess, again, um, are you disappointed in the re in the response by uh, Mayor Warren and Adam Fed not being out there? I mean, when these other things happened before she was in office, they were out there. They were leading the charge. They were they were making these comments about the police department. And like you said, I mean, you described it as her hands being tied because she's now overseas. That's what you're talking about. Are you know, personally, are you as a group disappointed by the lack of them being out there? No, because I, I'm, I'm not personally disappointed in politicians per se, because <laughs> we know it because we know about politicians. I think the yeah. church, yes, the mosque. Yes, yes sir. Faith-based institutions. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are the ones. The people are the ones who are going to make the difference, not yes, politicians. Yes, sir. Not yes, politicians. Sir. Yes, sir. So I'm, I'm not disappointed because they do what they do. I think Adam has really been out there in the community, really doing what he's supposed to be doing. But he needs our help. He needs our help. In fact, the mayor needs our help. You know. And that means we need to be able, as an organization, as a people, to push hard for what we want and to make our voices known. Yes. I think too long we have been asleep. No yes. 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 And now our consciousness is beginning to be pricked and we are aware of what's happening to our people now. Yes. 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 And this will arouse this dormant spirit to action. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're calling upon you, the people to be active in this whole process. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And remember, we can be outraged, we can be angry, yes. but we have to plan. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. This yes. is a process. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. For a movement. Yes. That's right. Yes. That's right. An event thing is one time only. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is for the long haul. Yes, yes. yes. For the long run. Yes, it is. Are you with me with that? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Uh, October 2nd okay, what is that now? at 6.30. That's going to be a speak out. Uh, number one, we want to hear people's experiences concerning incidents with the police. Number two, we want to help encourage people to organize people to fight with us Yes. For the independent civilian review. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. For personal yes. body cameras. Yes. yes. Because, see, you can have marches and rallies all you want. That's right. Mm -hmm. And things don't change. That's right. Yes. What we have to do is begin to get involved in the legislative process mm -hmm. and to push for change from that angle. Yes. And you know what else? We have to be all registered to vote. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. That's right. Vote them out. That's a fact. Yes. And that's what we have to do. The other thing, John, is that we want to talk about people knowing their rights mm -hmm. that's right. when they are approached by the police mm -hmm. yes, sir. because that's important if we act hey, we can be angry and upset but we can't be stupid that's yes. right that's right mm -hmm. and we can't be foolish yes. Yes, sir. because the power is in the hands of the cops Yes. In that sense, when they approach you, yes. they've got the gun, right now, and they've got the power of the law on their That's side. Yes, they do. All right. So we have to be very careful. We have to be cool, calm, and collected. Mm. That's right. And use good common sense. Yes. 
and that that event will be include the police officers. You'll ask the representative to come down here and listen no. to your concerns. Or no. What we want to do is we want to hear from the people. Okay. We because we 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 know law enforcement's approach. You know, <laughs> but, but our, our job is to hear from the people, to yes. talk to the people, to hear the people's experiences, mm -hmm. and to organize the people for change. Mm -hmm. So what would you do with that information? Maybe you go to the police department and share with. No, them? it's not the police department we're going to because the police department supposedly <laughs> is controlled by the mayor's office mm -hmm. and city council. <laughs> go to the top. So we want to go to the top. We're going to you, the top. You, you never go to a secondary or tertiary person. Mm -hmm. You always go to the top. Always to the top. Always. Yes. With that said, kind of um, to play off of what he had asked you before about being disappointed in the mayor, um, I know that you made a comment about politicians. You can't, ex what, what you said about you can't expect much from them. But, but wouldn't she has the authority to make these changes? She, she's like the one who is in the power. So. Wouldn't she be the one that you you would expect to be <coughs> behind you in this sense? Well, don't you all get me into a fight with the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm, I'm not going to approach them. Well, with, with all due respect, you, when you say that it's not the politicians who can do something, right? it's the people who do something. Right. You know, everybody agree with that. But really, what you're asking for today is, is the mayor and the city council to do something, to bring about that change. because. The, the anger that is, is, is really seething in this community mm -hmm. needs to be recognized by right. those people. Mm -hmm. And they need to take action. Right. And, and, yeah. and, and, and right, John, and you're correct on that. And, and the fact is, we are going to be the engine there you go. Mm -hmm. to bring about that change. Yes. yes. All right? Yes. They might be the locomotive, but we're going to be the engine to bring about that change. And that's the way it has to be, and that's the way it should be, because of the fact that uh, the power lies within the hands of the people. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and we need to be able to recognize that. Yes. Yes. We can't be pockets and individuals of people. Right. We've got to come together and yes, form sir. this movement and yes, get sir. this movement going for justice. Yes. Yes. We have to do it. That's correct. Yes, we you, have to do it. Were you able to connect those dots? Because you, are you hearing everything? Reverend Stewart is making it clear that this is not new. We've been struggling for these changes for decades, and we understand technically that the lawmakers have to, you know, uh, make the changes, legislative and so forth. But that's not, it's clear to us now after decades that that's not going to happen until we yes, force them to yes, do sir. it. One yes. way or another. So you need to connect those dots. Through the federal government. The people. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I appreciate it. I am, I am a black man, I am a black man you scared to clap for I am a black man who likes metaphor, I am a black man who's anti-war I am I, and the black man that I am is quite sure I am not pure, African fruits mixed with Cherokee juice I am a black man with red clay roots, Arkansas I am Black man speaking my I am truth I am not trying to recruit youth for nothing but revolution Solutions to overstand the I am they be Unlike me, I am a man and yet I am as unique as you